Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you all know, there are many things that we need to do in order to stay academically relevant. These things also help us to become the best possible candidate for any academic job when these vacancies open up, be it for a guest teacher, for a contractual assistant professor or a contractual lecturer or a full-time UGC substantive assistant professor in colleges and universities and other institutes of higher education. One of the fundamental things in this particular domain is that of publishing. Now I have done a few videos on my channel on publishing and there are many available documents on the internet which will tell you almost everything that you need to do in order to publish your papers but there is something that these people are not telling you today's video is about this fundamental line called publish or perish so i am going to tell you all about my personal journey of publishing more than 10 papers and one book chapter in the last three three and a half years 2021 2022 and 2023 and the last three months of 2024 as well and i am going to show you all these journals where i have published my work and these are just the journals that have come to me in hard copy there are more which have been published online as soft copies i have them separately i'm not going to show them to you anymore but what i'm going to do in this particular video is i am going to tell you about my experience of publishing with almost all of these journals and the particular process of publishing now before we go on to these details the first thing you need to do is how to get your works published i know many of you are confused about this so i will suggest you to wait no further and enroll in my ongoing course on academic writing which is starting from the month of april 2024 and admissions for that course have already begun in that particular course i am going to teach you everything that there is to know right from starting to write an abstract how to find that perfect research idea how to locate a research gap how to choose your keywords from an existing array of keywords so that your paper becomes easily searchable on the internet more importantly how to go from abstract to a full paper how to formulate a flowchart to go from one point to the other so that the paper does not look haphazard and ill connected more importantly how to formulate your sentences how to write the correct sentence length how to find out the perfect paragraph length how to switch from one paragraph to the next how to do quotations be it a small in-text quotation or a block quotation, how to give in-text citations, how to then cite that work in the works cited section, what is the difference between an end note and a footnote, works cited, references, bibliography, how to write a thesis proposal, everything from A to Z I'm going to teach you in this course. And if you don't want to wait anymore, I'm giving my number down here. Please don't hesitate to give me a text. I will send you the course details. And more importantly, an early bird discount for this particular course is still ongoing. If you register before the 20th of March, you can still get that early bird discount. So don't worry. I'm going to teach you everything. But before we go on to the teaching part, let me try and share with you my experience of publishing. My first paper which I published was with the International Journal Online of Humanities and there I published a journal on the Shiva Trilogy which was on anthropomorphism. I don't have that book in hard copy because it was an online journal and I have that printed out right there but I am too lazy to just get up and get it for you. These were just readily available. But the next journal which is more important is this one. It's the Journal of Humanities and Social Science, uh, published by Scottish Church College, Kolkata. I'm sure all of you know about Scottish Church College. This journal took me about a year to get published, right from the moment of sending an abstract to get it selected, then submitting the full paper. And I went through at least three rounds of revising the paper, one edit, and then another edit on top of that, another edit on top of that. And finally, I was also sent the full paper for proof checking, which I checked with due diligence. And then they published the paper. And because this paper, along with a few of my others, were published during the COVID lockdown, I received it quite late. And I don't really blame anyone here because the times were tough for us. But the point I am coming to here is that any good journal would take around six to eight months to get published. If any journal is promising you publication within 15 days, 30 days, 
it's highly possible that it's not a good journal it's going to charge you money which is a very important point in this publication journey that is you should never go for predatory journals why because if you go for predatory journals then the people who are recruiting you would know that you are publishing in predatory journals and your entire publication ethics will be brought into question right let me go to the oh i i did not mention my paper uh, papers details here here i wrote about the marvel cinematic universe as you would be surprised probably to know it's called is partial genocide acceptable ethics of genocide as an act of war in the marvel cinematic universe i will show you the first page of my article is this one oh by the way all of my articles are available for free on academia.edu you can uh, read them there and uh, many of these are also available on the journal's websites i'll tell you when and how that's possible all especially the online ones the one i mentioned just before this and then we also have this one it's asian quarterly and international journal of contemporary issues i no longer recommend this journal because they have become a little shady now so um what i've done here is that i've published an article on professor shonku and my uh, paper is called beyond the Mach machine cyber humanism in the stories of professor shonku and this is one of the papers which is closest to my heart this is the first page of it what i'm trying to say here is that this journal took around eight months to get published again i received it during the uh, covid lockdown period and uh, this i have received in the hard copy so it's another journal where i have published my work then uh, this is uh, probably my best publication till date it's in the international research journal person with special needs and rehabilitation management it's published by uh, my alma mater jadavpur university uh, disability cell my article is called the trash of the unconscious tracing the scribblings in the select manuscripts of rabindranath tagore in addition i have also published in online journals like all about ambedkar where i have written about the death rituals of hindu people I have also published in Cafe Dissensus where I've wrote about the auditory effects of Sunday suspense. In fact, to this day, if I if someone asks me to name all the ten papers I've published, it will take me some time to remember all of them because uh, I have published with a variety of journals without repeating a journal. Let me add here, and I have an Excel sheet of where I have published and uh, what those details are. I'll put them up here on the screen for you to see. Uh, then I have this one, uh, which is Negotiations, which is published by the North Bengal University, um, Department of English. This was the 2021 version. And the paper I published here was Lang Across Languages, Translation as an Act of Blending, Bending Global Modernity Through the Lens of Shottujit Rai. As you can see, I'm quite obsessed with him. Uh, it's in page number 80. Let me show it to you. Um, this is the one, Lang Across Languages. Um, Right. Um, it's, it's again a paper which is very close to my heart because again it's uh, on Shottujit Rai uh, as was my MPhil thesis which was on the translation of Riddles in Shottujit Rai's Feluda and I still continue to work on him. I have also worked on him in the paper which I published with the Comparative Literature Association of India's uh, yearly journal called Shahitto which was telling tall tales figure of the storyteller in select Bengali fiction. I have also published a chapter in this book called Myths, Mythology and Mythological Narratives, which was published by Saroop Books, uh, not a very good publication, if I may add, uh, but my chapter is pretty good, if I may say so myself. It's called, um, is reading gendered, analyzing gender representation in Indian Hindu mythology. Yes, this is the one. All of this again is available for free on academia.edu. I've also published several book reviews in this journal, Journal of Comparative Literature and Aesthetics. Again, they have uh, done some shady stuff, um, not really recommending them anymore. Uh, but the rest of the journals are more or less recommended. And I'll also give a list of good journals where you can get your works published, especially if you are a budding academic who has not published their works before this i'll give you a link of 10 to 15 good journals who are doing really good work and where the selection process is probably not as competitive as the you know high-end or top tier journals but where you if you still get your works published you will still get credit where credit is due i've also edited a special edition of this one journal of comparative literature and aesthetics uh, just recently it was in popular culture and this completes uh, uh six um of my publications and there are other four or five in online mode uh, so what i'm trying to say here is that if you don't publish your works in time and if you don't keep on publishing regularly then you will become irrelevant and then you will end up 
stay perishing in the long run so if you want to get your works published you should start today and the first step of publishing your work is to read your paper at a conference i know i know many of you will not agree with me here but if you read your paper at a conference then you will get insights into the paper which then will allow you to fundamentally understand what is wrong with your paper and then you can build on it so these are my short insights on the perilous issue of publishing or perishing if you have any questions or you want to know more about my course please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and obviously don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i'll see you in the next one till then hasta la vista Thank you.